Good morning. I'm Joey Gould, the Minister of Congregational Care here at First Church Sherman, and I want to welcome you to our time of devotional this morning. Uh, I know that uh, you are like I am and uh, find this as an opportunity to be in contact uh, in a very uh, strange way, but a very real way as well. Let me lift up to you uh, all of those persons who are continually dealing with the coronavirus and all of the implications of that, those who have the illness, those who are dealing with whether they do or whether they don't, those who have uh, lost loved ones, communities that are suffering from the economic uh, crisis that this has all uh, brought to our world. We simply lift all of that up in our prayer time uh, today and every day. Uh, and I would encourage you to continue to pray uh, for all of those that you know who need uh, our prayers in a special way. Today I want to lift up a, a single verse of scripture out of the Psalm, Psalm 118, verse 24. We all know it so very well. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. But I want to whine a little bit. I'm tired of being confined. Uh, reference not open, stores not open, wearing that mask. So let's talk a little bit about our whining because I know I'm not the only one. In fact, I've talked with a lot of you that are like I am and just simply tired of it, but yet we still continually have to do it and be a part of it. So as we talk about it, let's do it like I like to do and reflect how we respond in a, the sense of a story. Stories help us feel the really deeper meanings of life. A Cree Indian storyteller said this about stories. He said, stories are beings. You invite them to live with you. They will teach you what they know in return for your being a good host. And when they're ready to move on, they'll let you know. Then you pass them on to someone else. So the story this morning that I'd like to share with you uh, as we talk about our confinement and it getting so very, very uh, close to our hearts, very old in a very real way, I want to share a story with you from Maya Angelou, that uh, poet, uh, philosopher who has uh, uh, spoken so many times to so many of us in a variety of ways. Maya Angelou said, my grandmother raised me in Stamps, Arkansas. She had a particular routine when people who were known whiners entered her store. Whenever she saw a complainer coming in, she'd simply call me, Sister, come inside, come. And I would obey. My grandmother would ask that customer, How are you today, Brother Thomas? He would reply, I'm, I'm not so good. Not so good today, Sister Henderson. It's a summer day and I just hate this summer heat. It's almost killing me. Then my grandmother would stand stoically with her arms folded and mumble. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And she'd cut her eyes at me to make certain that I heard the lamentation. Each complainer got the very same treatment. And Mama would, each time, call me before her and say the same thing. Sister, did you hear what Brother So-and-so or Sister Much to Do was complaining about? And I'd nod, and she'd continue. Sister, there are people who went to sleep all over the world last night, poor and rich, black and white, that will never wake again. Sister, those who expected to rise did not. Their beds became their cooling boards and their blankets became their winding sheets. And those folks would give anything for just five minutes of this weather. So watch yourself about complaining, sister. What you're supposed to do when you don't like a thing is change it. And if you, can't, if you can't change it, then change the way you think about it. So as we look at the circumstances facing us here in our world, don't complain. 
complain about it, change it. And in re the reality of it all, if you can't change it, change the way you think about it. You know, maybe I really don't need to complain after all. Would you bow with me and let me pray? Loving God, we thank you so much for being with us in this very unsettling time. These times when we really don't know what's going to be going on the next day. These times when all of those things that have been stable for us, all of those things that have been the bedrock that we've depended on so much of our lives, now sometimes seem shaky. And our first reaction is to complain. But be with us, strengthen us, guide us in your sustaining love as we seek to grow in faith, to grow in our trust of your guiding love in our life. And we'll simply ask this prayer in your name. Amen.